Look, um, at this point, man, it's obvious that Stephen A. Smith isn't watching these games. Okay, I, I don't. He's watching highlights. I, I don't know if he's going by word of mouth. I don't know whether someone's setting him up to, to lose credibility. But it's obvious that he hasn't been watching Rockets games. Okay, that much I do know. Um, I get it. I understand he's been spread thin. They running him around. ESP running him around like a field nigga in the heat of August. I get it. You know, what I'm saying he he pretty much is their only real quote unquote star. Um, but if he's being spread this thin to the point where he's not even watching games, then something got to be done for him to get on national television and to say that the main reason for the Houston Rockets collapse is Russell Westbrook, then you lose all credibility. Okay. First of all, in my opinion, even more so than Westbrook, uh, Westbrook or Harden. The fault lies at Mike D'Antoni and Daryl Morey, okay? Because they are the ones that are going with this small ball strategy, okay? Those are the motherfuckers you blame, okay? I'm sick and tired of those two motherfuckers not getting blamed for shit, okay? Yeah, players miss shots, but coaches... You know, Dan Tony, this is the Dan Tony system. And it's been proven time and time again that it doesn't fucking work. I noticed something. When small ball was working for a while, right? When it was working for a while, they were praising Mike Dan Tony. The minute that the Rockets fall back to earth, all right, and look terrible, now all of a sudden you guys back to blaming mostly Westbrook. That's why that's why I fucking hate the media. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of you dudes get on my fucking nerves. I'm not talking about my loyal subscribers, man, but a lot of you dudes get on my fucking nerves when y'all keep trying to play this gotcha shit with me. Oh, uh, you talk about how the media suck LeBron dick, but you ain't say anything when they used to suck Michael Jordan dick. Nigga, how the fuck am I saying something in my high school, dick? What the fuck are you talking about? There wasn't no social media back then. You think I had a Twitter account back in 1997? The fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, they talk about he go 6-0. and Well, I mean, look, man. I never said that was a... You ever hear me say that on my channel? You ever really hear me... Unless I'm being petty talking to some idiot in the, in the comment section. Do you ever really hear me talk about his six championships a lot? I don't even mention the championships. I don't have to go there because my argument for him is that fucking thorough. I could go that in depth with other shit. I don't have to talk about championship rings. I rarely talk about rings. Okay? I rarely talk about rings when it comes to Michael Jordan. So you miss me with that shit. But my issue is with the media. It's these motherfuckers, man. I ain't even bother looking at that shit this morning. I didn't even bother to look at that shit. I look at that shit on YouTube, okay? Because um, I know what time it is. What time it's gonna be with Shannon Sharp, Colin Cowherd, Chris Bosh, and Nick Wright. All right, but this motherfucker right here, man. No, you can't blame Russell Westbrook on this one, okay? Yeah, Russell Westbrook missed the game. He's been low managing this season. Okay, but you know what? He is getting older. He's 31. Uh, he is a player that expends a lot of energy out there on the court. And I think this was his 11th missed game. So Westbrook, at the pace he's going, he's probably going to play in about 70 games, which is more than what Kawhi is going to end up playing in. Right, which is going to be about sixty. So I don't have a real problem with that. But he has been, he has been, you know, low managing this year. Okay. Then again, he's coming off of surgery. So I don't really have an issue with him low managing. Who you motherfuckers need to be? If you're going to point a finger at somebody, some of some Westbrook needs to be a point. First of all. Technically, he's not really playing point guard anymore. He's really at the two. 
Harden is more Harden is more playing point, if anything, than Westbrook at this point. Westbrook is purely scoring more so now than ever before. Okay? If anybody that's really the point more, it's Harden. Okay? But I've seen Westbrook kick it out to shooters. The problem is, these motherfuckers ain't making them. Like, I don't understand it, man. First of all, Westbrook should have won player of the month last month. Okay? He should have won player of the month. He averaged like 33 points, almost eight rebounds, seven assists, two steals, shot about 55% from the floor, but it gave it to LeBron. Okay? The month before that, Damian Lillard averaged 34 points, uh, I think like six rebounds, eight assists, or four rebounds, eight assists, shot 45% from three, or 46%, one or two, they gave it to LeBron. So, you, you tell me what that is, okay? But nah, you're gonna give it. You're gonna have to give it, give it to fucking uh, James Harden, okay? The last three games, I believe, James Harden has shot like shit. But every fucking time, you motherfuckers want to blame Westbrook, man. That's why I'm such a staunch defender of him. Okay, one game, James Harden had 30 points, the triple double. Okay, yeah, yeah, he had a 30 point triple double. But y'all neglect to mention that they lost the fucking game and he had 10 turnovers. But you would have mentioned if it was fucking Westbrook. You guys with this narrative, man. Oh, Westbrook got to make sure he has to prove he got the first round. Well, what the fuck Harden got to prove, man? What has Harden done since he's been with Houston but choking the playoffs? What has Dan Tony proved? Okay, what has Dan Tony done and proven as a coach in the NBA? Those Phoenix Suns teams with Steve Nash, they were cool, they were fun to watch, but ultimately they failed in the playoffs. Okay? He failed epically with the Knicks. He failed epically when he was with Kobe the Lakers. All right. He's not getting done with the Houston Rockets. It's entertaining to watch sometimes, but small ball is idiotic. That's why I said this shit doesn't work. It doesn't work. You need a big man. No matter how much the NBA analytics say you don't need one, you need a fucking center. Okay, we saw that last night with the Lakers. Size matters. Don't keep putting this at Westbrook, man. That's why he got all this fucking hate now. Because of you non-game-watching-ass motherfuckers. You dudes, y'all job is to watch a fucking game. That's your job. To watch an NBA game and analyze it to the best of your ability. Y'all motherfuckers can't even do that shit right. There's no way he been watching games. There's no way Stephen A. Smith has been watching any NBA games in the last month. No way. He just freestyling. And he's been caught doing this shit before. Not doing this horror before. Going on TV and and and, and thinking what might have happened. <coughs> I remember one time he got caught doing that shit. Talking about a, a quarterback. You know, uh, he, he just assumed. He, he didn't do any scouting any video tape, he didn't look at anything about this quarterback, right? This projected quarterback in the draft. He just, it was a black quarterback. So he just said, oh yeah, you know, the guy's great, you know, he's great scrambling, you know, he's a great uh, scramble outside the pocket, you know, uh, he's great, uh, you know, speed, da, da, da. And he won't. He's a, he was a traditional pocket pass like Warren Moon. But because he black, he just assumed that he was a great scam, scrambler and running quarterback. Oh, well, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, I might got a little misinformation. No, motherfucker, you just ain't do your homework like you always fucking do and just speak from what you think. I don't know, man. I used to watch... When I was growing up, I used to watch ESPN because you actually would learn shit, you know what I'm saying, from some of those reporters. Up 
out there, man. They would school you about a lot of shit. But these guys out there now, more from, from for lack of a better term, man, they just buck dancing, man. I, I hate to say it like that, but a lot of these dudes are high profile buck dancers. All right, like it, it pains me to sometimes watch these dudes. First of all, a lot of them are trying to. They're trying to uh, emulate what TNT does inside the NBA. You know what I'm saying? That, that's one of the few programs that has decent ratings pertaining to basketball, right? Related to basketball. But it's inauthentic with these other channels. They, like, they're trying to copy that shit, but it, it doesn't come across as natural. Um, but, you know... Yeah, Stephen A. Smith, man, that, that, that really pissed me off, man. It really pissed me off, man. There's no way in fuck this guy been watching games, man. James Harden has been bricking left and right. He did it on national television the other day. Okay. Uh, Westbrook had 29 points and 16 rebounds. James Harden had 17 points. But James Harden missed like 9 out of 11 fucking threes. And I think last night he missed 7 out of 10 threes. Okay, like I said in my community post the other day, James Harden is an overglorified average shooter. Okay, he's not the best shooter, but he's an overglorified shooter. Matter of fact, Gilbert Arenas, because I always call him a mixture of Gilbert Arenas and like uh, Adrian Dantley, but, you know, Adrian Dantley scored in the post, so. I can't even really say that. He's, he's more of a mix of Gilbert Arenas and... I don't know, man. He's like Gilbert Arenas with a green... I, I put it like this. He's Gilbert Arenas with the ultimate green light. Okay? That, that, that's pretty much what James Harden is. But, it, but Gilbert was actually a better three-point shooter. He wasn't the best three-point shooter... But he's actually better. If you go by percentages, James Harden is average. He's average. And now teams are learning how to guard the step back better. They're learning how to stifle him a little bit more with that. And you can see it with the shooting percentages. He's shooting about 35% on the nose, which is not great by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. Um, it's not. Russell Rushbrook's not a great three-point shooter. It never has been. All right? But it, when he is open, he's taking smarter threes lately. Okay? Um, but he's not, that's not his strong suit. Okay? That's what pissed me off with these dudes. They keep saying Russell needs to stop shooting threes. It's like with the media, they want you to be everything that you're not. Okay? Joel Embiid is a pretty good jump shooter for a big man. Not incredible, but he's decent. They want him going to paint more, which I agree he should. Giannis lives in the paint, but yet they want Giannis to live outside. Westbrook, his best and strongest um, part of his offensive game is his speed of explosiveness. So why do you want him to be a set shot three point shooter? What, what what's up with you dudes, man? Why do y'all want these guys to play against their strengths? It's like y'all want these dudes to fail so y'all can complain about them or something. I don't know, but Westbrook has been playing better, man. He's having he averaging twenty seven points this year. He's having one of his, his finer seasons individually. Uh, he, you know, shooting the basketball from out from. 22 feet on in, he, he's having one of his better years ever, okay? Um, if you take away the three-point shot, Westbrook is shooting like 52% from the floor this year, okay? So he's having a career year shooting the basketball outside of the three. But somehow, some way, uh, it's still his fault that they're losing, Um Never mind that James Harden's been bricking, all right? Never mind that, you know, Westbrook is actually playing the two, but you still want him to be the point guard. I mean, I'm trying to figure out 
what it is that y'all, what do you want from this motherfucker, man? I, I don't understand it. 